Should you enter a fist fight, guards will not interfere, but drawing your weapon will turn them hostile. Safety and peace, Malik. Where that the city was possessed of either. Why do you trouble me today? Al Mualim has marked Mejdud Din for death. What can you tell me about him? Salahuddin's absence has left the city without a proper leader, and Majduddin has appointed himself to play the part. Fear and intimidation get him what he wants. He has no true claim to the position. That ends today. You speak too readily. This is not some slaver we're discussing. He rules Jerusalem and is well protected because of it. I suggest you plan your attack carefully. Get to better know your prey. With your help, I will. Where would you have me begin my search? What's this? You're actually asking for my assistance instead of demanding it. I'm impressed. Be out with it. As you wish. Here's where I would look. First, to the southwest near the mosque. After that, head south of here. There are two locations that might interest you. The southernmost church is one, the other is in the streets, near a synagogue. Thank you for your help, Dai. Don't foul this, Altair. What news, novice? I am not a novice. A man's skill is defined by his actions, not the markings on his robe. We can trade barbs or do Al Mualim's work. It's your decision. Then be out with it. Jerusalem's regent Mejduddin is holding a public execution not far from here. It's sure to be well guarded, but it's nothing I can't handle. I know what to do. And that is why you remain a novice in my eyes. You cannot know anything. Only suspect. You must expect to be wrong. To have overlooked something. Anticipate, Altair. How many times must I remind you of this? As you wish. Are we done? Not quite. There is one more thing. One of the men to be executed is a brother. One of us. Al Mulim wishes for him to be saved. Do not worry about the actual rescue. My men will take care of that. But you must ensure Majduddin does not take his life. I won't give him the chance. So I hope. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one.
silence! People of Jerusalem, hear me well! I stand here today to deliver a warning. There are malcontents among you. They sow the seeds of discontent, hoping to lead you astray. Tell me, is this what you desire? To be mired in deceit and sin? To live your lives in fear? Then you wish to take action? Your devotion pleases me. This evil must be purged. Only then can we hope to be redeemed. This is not justice. You've no right to do that. Who do you take yourself for? And all of you stand idle, complicit in this crime. Not touch you See how the evil of one man spreads to corrupt others? They sought to instill fear and doubt within you. But I will keep you safe. Here now are four filled with sin. The harlot, the thief, the gambler, the heretic. Let God's judgment be brought down upon them all! Temptress! Succubus! Oh. She goes by many names, but her mm. sin remains the same. She turned her back on the teachings... <laughs> Defy <Defiance>. up! Your work here is finished. No, no, it had only just begun. Tell me, what's your part in all of this? Do you intend to defend yourself as the others have and explain away your evil deeds? The Brotherhood wanted the city. I wanted power. There was an opportunity. An opportunity to murder innocents. Not so innocent. Dissident voices cut deep as steel. They disrupt order. In this, I do agree with the Brotherhood. You kill people simply for believing differently than you. Of course not. I killed them because I could. Because it was fun. Do you know what it feels like to determine another man's fate? And did you see the way the people cheered? The way they feared me? I was like a god. You'd have done the same if you could. Such power. Once perhaps. But then I learned what becomes of those who lift themselves above others. And what is that? Here, let me show you. Get away from me! 
Jerusalem needs a new ruler. So I have heard. What's this? No words of wisdom for me? Surely I have failed in some spectacular fashion. You performed as an assassin should. No more, no less. That you expect praise for merely doing as told, however, troubles me. It seems everything I do troubles you. Reflect on that. But do so on your way back to Masyaf. Your work here is done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You can create diversions with dead bodies. Soldiers will leave their clothes. Come, Altair. I would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good. Good. I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. Each time you give only riddles in exchange. But no more. Who are you to say no more? I'm the one who does the killing. If you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I do not like your deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost. Taken. By you. And then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So I will not ask. I demand you tell me what binds these men. Now, what you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Sade. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies, all pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard? Salah Eddin? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. Then they must be stopped. That is why we do our work, Altair. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? That you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information learned is more valuable than information given. Besides, your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence. I see. Altair, your mission has not changed. Merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malik retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. 
just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. For now, take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire. It is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. Altair, before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? Truth be told, Master, I didn't. I took a leap of faith.